What up everybody, it's Adrian Raza here and today we got a first look at my brand new DV Skimboards Pro models. The Sandfish Raza Pro 2022 and here we got the DV Skimboards Raza Pro 2022. So before getting into too many details about each board, I'm going to talk about a couple characteristics for you to know. The Sandfish is an all-round board. With this board you can ride it in waves, you can do flatland and it's very good at riding long distances. The shape is directional, the board is big, and it's flexible. It's a good board. <laughs> <laughs> and then here, the Raza Pro, we've done this shape for six years, I think. It's, we haven't changed the shape because, in my opinion, it is the best flatland board. It's specifically made for flatland skimboarding. And by this, I mean tricks like shove -its, big spins, kickflips, and especially riding on ramps and rails. So this board, if you really want to be the progressive flatland skimboarder, because of its shape, its size and flexibility, it's really going to allow you to be the best flatland skimboarder you could ever be. I'm going to get a little bit more in detail about the Raza Pro Sandfish. Firstly, the graphic. This graphic was made by a good friend of mine, Thais. This is me. These are shorts I wear all the time. A hat. This is really like an outfit I would wear at a skimboard. So I think it's really, really cool that he was able to illustrate me on a board. It's uh, kind of an honor. Colors and everything. You know, there's not much to say about a graphic, but I love it. Together with the graphic is the foam. This foam, compared to other DB boards, it's a lot more like smooth. So it's not really, really grippy, which is going to allow you to like um, move your feet quite a lot on the board. So I don't know if you guys have seen my videos where I'm, you know, doing the urban skimboarding on the sandfish boards. I move my feet a lot. So I have my foot on the front. I maybe do a one foot trick and I just kind of do like these funky, exactly what the camera is doing, you know, move my feet around. This board is gonna really allow you to move your, move your feet around. In terms of shape, this board, the top three quarters or four fifths of the board is actually the same shape as the Sandfish Pro Cruiser. On my Pro model Sandfish, I decided to add the same tail as my DB Skimboards Raza Pro. The reason why I did that is this tail allows the board to be better for doing tricks. So it has more edges on the back, which allows you to really like dig in those edges to do tricks. So if you want to do a three shove, this board is going to have more control it's gonna have more pop and it's gonna be a little bit more playful. So this board uses three plies of wood, which means it's more flexible than, for example, the DB Skimboard's Raza Pro model. A flexier board makes it lighter, but it also, to me, has a very big advantage when riding in flat water, is that it is basically, when you're riding on flat water, it is flush to the ground or flush to the water, and it allows you to slide faster, but it also, like, gives you this kind of like feeling where you can feel the water when sliding over it. It's just the characteristic of this board that for me makes it really fun to ride. I usually take it out into the streets. This is my preferred urban skin board. For me, when I ride in urban spots, I favor going further, going faster than doing tricks. This board can still do tricks. You'll be able to do your three shoves, but it's going to be a little harder to really control those tricks and if you're sliding on ramps or rails, it's gonna be a little bit more flexy, which is might feel weird to some people. But being able to slide further for a skimboard to me is a really, really big advantage, especially when riding in urban areas. So now the top of the line DB Skimboards Raza Pro 2022. So first up, the graphic. I really, really like this one. Same designer as the Sandfish. We went with a little something different this year. We got the flowers, we got like this really, cool design. Again, not much to say about the graphic. It's just the graphic, but I really like it and I think it shows my personality and style a little bit more than the other years. Um, then going straight into the foam, with these like cut out diamonds, if you put your foot somewhere, it's not going anywhere. So you're gonna have amazing grip when you jump on the board, but also when you're trying to do tricks like a shove it or a 360 shove it, if your foot is on the board and you try to kick it, you're really gonna get that extra spin because your foot will be like locked into the foam. Um, the foam is also really soft. So if you do a huge air or if you do something off of a ramp, once you land, you're not gonna get heel bruised. So the shape, 
We've been doing this shape for about five years, if I'm not mistaken. And we decided not to change it just because it's perfect. I don't want anything more in a shape. I tried other shapes in the past, shapes that would spin a little bit faster. But what I noticed, if the nose and tail is a little bit like smaller, which would make it spin better, it would just lack control. So for my type of skimboarding, which is I like to go big, I like to do a lot of shove it rotations, but something that is still quite stable. This is the perfect medium. So this board is gonna spin fast, but when the board is spinning, you really have that control. So the board is not gonna sway in weird directions. I feel like when I try to do a trick here, it always does the same thing. So if I try to do a three shove, it's always gonna spin, depending on how, of course, if I do my three shove right, it's always gonna spin in the same way it's not gonna sway and it's just a very reliable board. So this one uses one, two, three, four, five plies of wood, which is gonna make it stiffer and heavier, which is a characteristic that is better for doing tricks and better for riding on ramps and rails. This year, ignore the, the little scratch. I've been riding this board for quite a while and I, I guess I rode over a rock or something, but we're using HPL, the good old HPL, high pressure laminate, I think it's called. So with this base, you can slide on sand, of course on water, um, but it's gonna slide perfectly on ramps, rails, urban spots, concrete, you name it. Um, but be careful when you ride concrete or urban spots, the base is gonna wear off very quickly. So if you guys try to do what I do in my videos, don't be surprised if your base gets really brown and scratched up. However, if it does, the board is still rideable. It's just gonna be a little harder to gain speed. So if you see some of the bottoms of my boards, they look kind of messed up, but I still ride them. This board is the board for big tricks, progressive flatland skimboarding. Go get this board if you wanna be a great flatland skimboarder. Okay, so that was it. I hope I could help you guys choose which of these two boards are good for you. You can find them at www.dbskimboards.com and I hope you guys enjoy the board if you end up getting them. Oh, 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 oh,